Hello, hello everyone. Today is day three of us talking about the coronavirus. I'm Dr. Tamara Beckford. I am your telemedicine urgent care doc with your caring docs who help people who want to see a doctor, especially our entrepreneurs, our small business owners, you, your family, your employees. You want to see a doctor quickly overnight so that you can successfully open up your business in the morning. If you have any minor medical issues, I am the doc for you. You can find me at www.yourcaringdocs.com, U-A-R-C-I-R-I-N-G-D-O-C-S. Com. But every Friday at 6.30 p.m. on Facebook, we do a Facebook Live where we do a topic. The last topic was about the coronavirus, the infection, how it infects you, and also about like some of the symptoms. What are some of the things for you to have at home to help to you know offset some of the symptoms that you have with the coronavirus? The topic, um, it went on. It was approximately 17 minutes long. I know that everyone has 17 minutes to listen, so I made some bite-sized pieces right so today's portion of the bite-sized piece are some things you have at home when you're having some of the symptoms of the coronavirus the coronavirus we talked about the virus affects the lungs so it causes some respiratory issues and it causes fevers um you can have some cough it's usually a dry cough so it's not like you're hacking up any like mucus a lot of mucus it's really a dry cough or so and because it affects the lungs you can have shortness of breath so when you're having shortness of breath um some of the issues that we wonder is like um when is it a good time for me to go to the er versus when can i be treated on telemedicine right so one of the good things for you to have at home is a pulse oximeter right so this pulse oximeter you can buy it online um and any online store it costs like less than twenty dollars um for you to get it you usually it helps detect how much oxygen is within your body so with a pulse ox if your oxygen level is um greater than 91 or 90 so percent then you can usually safely be treated at home especially if you only have like mild shortness of breath if your oxygen level is less than 90 yeah then usually you need to go to the er to be evaluated right how can you determine that usually you just have your finger in the pulse ox you keep your finger in there keep it steady for a few seconds and then it'll start giving you the reading right another thing that you should have at home is that you should have a thermometer right yes you need to have a thermometer so you can give yourself um you can check and be able to determine your actual temperature and not just i feel hot you know good things you also have at home is tylenol or acetaminophen or ibuprofen that helps to bring down the fever so you won't feel so icky and make sure you hydrate 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 drink lots and lots and lots of fluid bring and have the fluid at your bedside so you can drink it and not have to get up and go to the kitchen because you're not going to want to do that because you're feeling icky 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 right so have your thermometer have your pulse ox have your fever reducers have your hydration put some electrolytes in it and you rest up if you are having minor issues like some nausea and vomiting or you know if you're nauseous you're not going to want to feel like eating then you can contact us on um, yourcaringdocs.com we can absolutely see you via telemedicine and be able to provide you some medication so you can feel better all right so as i mentioned i'm dr tamara beckford with yourcaringdocs.com we just talked about some things for you to have so you can feel a little better while you're battling the coronavirus right your thermometer your pulse socks finger pole socks actually this way finger pole socks and then um tylenol or ibuprofen to bring down the fever now i am going to be getting the coronavirus vaccine it's going to be done in two days from today's visit or video i should say so i will be videoing myself and i'll also do some video blog updates as to how i'm feeling afterward being very transparent right so look forward to that all right i will see you guys next time take care bye bye